Almost 50 months after its initial release, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe just got a new update. Yeah, over four years since release. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on May 25th, 2021 got a freaking new update. What's going on everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force, and this feels like a great old school Switch Force video. I mean, it's just you, me, and the mic I used to use a couple years back. I pulled it out of retirement because I think it actually sounds better, so we're going to be using it from here on out. But I found this crazy. New update for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And I'm such a big Mario Kart fan, you can imagine how crazed my eyes got when I read this news. Now also, let me know in the comments, what was your first emotion when you saw Mario Kart update? I want to know how big of a Mario Kart fan you are. I want to know what you were feeling. I want to know what was going through your head. I want to know how crazy you started shaking, where your brain went. Let me know. But it makes sense, right? Because Nintendo's been acting crazy as of late. They've got the whole Loftwing Zelda amiibo controversy. They refuse to share their E3 plans, even though it's almost June. And they added full online to Super Mario Party. Nobody expected it, and boom, they made that game so much better. So I'm thinking, I'm racking my brain. I'm like, okay, better online for Mario Kart, a new partnership, maybe a special track. What are they doing? Prepping the engines for a new one? And then I read the update. <laughs> Before you guys click off the video, this actually is very interesting, specifically because of something that leaked about a week ago. So there is more to discuss here, but let me read you the patch notes. Ugh, Nintendo, you got my hopes so far up. This game hasn't been updated since January 2019. We're talking two and a half years. It's crazy they still have somebody working on it. But version 1.7.2 addressed an issue that caused tournament points to be reset and address an issue that caused match history with friends to be reset. Man, I thought this could be so much better. They have Mario Party getting all the love, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe left in the dust, even though it is leading the pack still for Nintendo four years later. But let me bring in the other piece of evidence here, all right? You guys are like, why did you tell me to stay around? This is just a dumb set of patch notes. But here we go. Zippo, who is a uh, pretty darn good leaker, he posted what he thinks coming to Nintendo's E3. We covered it on Good Morning Mario. It's a video called, like, Big Leagues for E3. It's got Donkey Kong and Metroid and stuff. He talked about Mario Kart, and, and this really interested me, you know, because when Mario Party got up updated, we didn't know if that was, like, is that signaling that there's Mario Party 2, Super Mario Party 2, and they're, they're just, you know, kind of testing things out? Is this signaling that there's not Super Mario Party 2 because they're adding online and trying to make this game fully featured? So, I'm reading Zippo's leak, and he says, He's heard multiple times that Yabuki's team is hard at work on a new Mario Kart, and has been for at least three years. It's not Mario Kart Tour, it's not Live Circuit, it's not the theme park ride, but he's not sure if it's an expansion for 8, or Mario Kart 9, or Nintendo Kart. And he thinks it's coming this holiday or early next year. Now, if you've been paying attention, you know that Nintendo is loading up for Q4 and Q1, which is effectively Q4 of their uh, their fiscal year because it runs through March. They've got Pokemon Legends. They got Breath of the Wild 2 that has to come out at some point. They've got apparently a Mario Kart. But how crazy would it be, and is it out of the question, that this new Mario Kart is another update like Super Mario Party got an update? Something that, you know, for Mario Party really reinvigorates that audience and says, hey, you got to play this again because now it's got online. Obviously, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe has online, but for them it would be like a huge expansion. It's very odd that a game that has 30 bajillion copies doesn't have any paid DLC. We've seen Nintendo really embrace paid DLC for the Switch with Breath of the Wild, with Age of Calamity, with Pokemon. Okay, they've done it more often than ever before. Still waiting on that Animal Crossing DLC, but alas! A Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC pack would be bonkers, but at the same time, it would make bank. Now, I personally hope that we do get a full-on Mario Kart 9, or better yet, a Nintendo Kart, effectively the Smash Bros. Ultimate of Nintendo Racing. But this update here has me just flummoxed, right? It's probably not much of anything. It's probably just a minor issue fix. Somebody noticed that these... Bugs were in the game and they wanted to squash them because they're just, I don't know, everybody's just a fly swatter over there, always trying to make their Nintendo game so beautiful. But what if they are supporting this game because they're going to really support this game? Now, I want to know from you guys in the comments, like, would a new Mario Kart DLC pack 
would that suffice? Because you got this camp of people that say they're never going to put a new Mario Kart on Nintendo Switch. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe sells too well. Why would they stop it? Inevitably, if you put out 9, no one's going to buy 8 Deluxe. That seems silly. And then you got this other camp of people that say, okay, but they've already sold so many and it's not like a new one isn't going to sell. And this one is diminishing returns over time and a new one would invigorate and probably pop off 10 million faster than you can say hi, mom. I'm part of the latter camp. I think Nintendo is going to launch a Switch dedicated Mario Kart. As we know, 8 is a Wii U carryover. Now it's sold and found much more success on Switch, but it still is a Wii U relic. This game is ancient at this point. I mean, it's even four years old for Switch, and it's double that if you consider its initial launch on Wii U. But how bad or good would it be if they did pop off with a DLC pack? I could see them adding characters that are relevant to Switch franchises. You know, so we're talking somebody from ARMS, maybe somebody from Breath of the Wild 2, new Splatoon 2 racers, maybe somebody even from the Donkey Kong series if that game's coming back, maybe Samus, maybe they could Nintendo cart out MK8 Deluxe with this expansion. Would you pay $20 for eight new courses, a couple of new characters, and maybe a new multiplayer mode? Or would you feel gypped that we're getting a half step, right? An iteration, if you will, instead of a full on new game. Now I think about Nintendo and I think about what they have done and I think about how they've treated Odyssey and I think about how they treated Breath of the Wild. And I know that there are different patterns and honestly, there might not even be a pattern because of what they've done for a lot of their top tier games is all dramatically different. How they handled Breath of the Wild, how they handled Odyssey, how they handled Mario Kart, how they handled Animal Crossing. It feels like there is no central plan. But I still feel like there is more money to be made by a $60 brand new product, especially one that could help anchor a Switch Pro. And so even though Zippo is not sure of what it is, and you know, there is a possibility it could be DLC. I do think that this update is merely a fix, and I don't think that it is really prepping the waters or establishing a precedent that Nintendo does want to continue working on this game. I believe that we will get a new Mario Kart, and I think that if you believe in Switch Pro, which by now you probably should, that iteration is going to need its killer app. And yes, Breath of the Wild 2 could be that killer app. Obviously, you know, it'll play on both, but it could just be massive and, and majestic. But I think if you want a killer app, you go to the past and you go to what was the Switch's killer app. And effectively, it was not Breath of the Wild, even though it was for the hardcore, even though it was probably for, for you and me. It was Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. A Mario Kart 9 or a Nintendo Kart has the potential to absolutely level the competitors this holiday season, especially in a year where PlayStation and Xbox will struggle to meet demands. And with their games, you know, we hope they come out, fingers crossed for Halo Infinite and Horizon Forbidden West, but they just might not. And what is the big multiplayer mayhem for 2021 holiday season? Call of Duty is rumored to be in complete disarray. They're considering re-releasing Modern Warfare 2 HD multiplayer. Nintendo could come in and steal the show because we know we're in an era where multiplayer dominates, family fun is really important to the Switch audience, and this is a game that scales from the four-year-old to the 40-year-old, from the brand new Switch owner to the guy that has three of them. From you to me, from Switch Lite to Switch Pro, that would be the game. And so I still, and fingers crossed that we find out about a new Mario Kart at E3. I mean, hey, people are talking about it. Multiple sources have said that they've been working on something for years. I feel like years is a long time to work on DLC, isn't it? It's a long freaking time. So I'm sorry that this update was just bug fixes. I got really excited. I bet some of you did as well, but we got to have a nice talk about, you know, the DLC versus the full game. And I want you guys to, to fill me in on how you're feeling. Let me know in the comments down below if you predict and you believe Nintendo will go expansion pass for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe because it has such a huge audience already or if they'll go the new game route. I want to know. I want to hear from you. Hit that like button. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I love sharing all the Nintendo fun with you guys. I hope I'll see you on Good Morning Mario tomorrow. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, stay positive out there. You guys are the best. Switch Force out.